Hello. So this is the second video of this playlist. Um, I had a problem with the settings in the previous video. For some reason, it didn't capture um, the video showing my face, um, but it doesn't matter because I fixed it. And um, from here on out, this will be what the videos will look like. So as I said, this is all the IB Econ Diagrams Explained playlist. And it's time for the second diagram in the syllabus, the circular flow of income. This is one of my favorites. I love teaching this because I feel like it's a great way of modeling the economy. You know, when you were young and you were asked to either draw or build or create a model for the solar system to help you understand the solar system? Well, this is what the circular flow of income helps us understand. It's a model of the economy so that you understand what is an economy or what is the economy. So these are the syllabus outcomes taken directly from the IB Econ syllabus. So um, we use the circular flow of income model to model the economy. It shows the interdependence between the different economic decision makers that interact and make choices in the economy. Remember, people make choices because resources are scarce. So what are those economic decision makers or economic agents? We have households, firms, the government, the banks, and the financial sector and the foreign sector, foreign firms and households. And it shows leakages and injections. And this is what you need to show. We'll come back here at the end of the video to make sure that we have um, basically targeted all these outcomes. And there you go. Isn't she beautiful? All right. So let's see all of those different sectors. Household sectors. The household sector is the owner of the owners of the factors of production. So remember, households are the owners of the factors of production. Okay. Owners of the FOPs. While the business sector, these are the employers of the FOPs. They employ the FOPs. Okay. So it always starts with the households because the households own the FOPs. They give their FOPs land, labor, capital, and enterprise. They give those FOPs to the business sector, which is the employer of these FOPs. In return, they earn income. So the FOPs earn income. Land will earn an income that we call rent. Labor will earn an income that we call wage or wages. Capital, the owners of capital earn interest. And the owners of enterprise earn profit. So remember, these are the four types of income. The income of land is rent. The income of labor is wages or wage. The income of capital is interest. The income of enterprise is profit. So what do the households do with this income? Okay. Well, they spend it on the goods and services. So remember how we said the business sector, they are the employers of the FOPs. They take those FOPs and they produce output of goods and services with those FOPs. Okay. So the FOPs are the inputs. They take those inputs to produce the output, which could be of either goods or services. And then the households take their income and they spend it on those domestic goods and services. We call that consumption spending or C, okay? Consumption spending, okay? So these are the four main flows. You've got the input flow, the output flow, the income flow, and the spending flow. But there are other economic agents in any complex and open economy. There are banks or the financial sector. There's the government. And then there are foreign households and firms. We'll just call them the foreign sector. Okay. Now, everything that you see here in blue. So the things that you see in blue, these are the leakages. And the things that you see in pink, these are the injections. Okay. So blue, these are the leakages, while pink, these are the injections. What's the meaning of a leakage or an injection? So a leakage 
is basically money, okay, that is not spent on domestic goods and services. So any money or income that the households earn that they do not spend on domestic goods and services is a leakage. Like what? Okay, when households earn income, some of that income goes to the banks in the form of saving. Similarly, businesses also save. So any saving is a leakage because it's income that is earned that is not spent on domestic goods and services, okay? Um, also, a lot of the income that households and businesses earn goes to the government in the form of taxes. So that leaks out of that main pipe, okay? These go to the government sector, taxes. Import spending is money that is spent on imports. Remember, imports are goods or services that we buy from overseas. So even though the imported good comes to us, the money leaves our economy. It leaks out of our economy and goes to foreign countries, the foreign sector. So import spending is a leakage. So remember, leakage, uh, leakages are basically all money that is, or all income that is earned, that is not spent on domestic goods and services. It goes to the banks in the form of saving, to the government in the form of taxes, or to foreign countries in the form of import spending. Okay, what about injections? So injections is basically income or money that is injected into the economy, okay? from these other economic agents. So banks, banks don't just take our savings and that's it. No, they invest, okay? They lend out those savings to households and businesses that wanna invest. So this is an injection, investment spending, okay? Investment spending is basically any spending on capital to produce more capital um, to allow a person to earn some sort of return or income in the future, okay? So investment spending. Households can, can take out a loan to buy a house. Businesses can take out a loan to, to build another branch, okay? This is all investment spending. Also, the government takes our taxes, but it injects that money back into the economy by providing highways, roads, public schools, public hospitals. All of that falls under government spending, Remember, government spending is an injection, okay? Where does the government get this money? Well, from its tax revenue, from its taxes, okay? So government spending is injected back into the circular flow. The circular flow is those outward arrows here. Remember that. So a leakage is money that leaks out of the circular flow and is not spent on domestic goods and services. While an injection is money that is injected into the circular flow, okay, from other economic agents other than households and businesses, okay? All right, now, foreigners, yes, we buy their goods and services and we give them money, uh, other countries, that's import spending, but they also buy our goods and services and that injects money into our economy, into our circular flow. We call that export revenue. It's not spending from our perspective. Even though it's foreign spending on our goods and services, it's revenue for us because our economy is earning that it's revenue, okay? So again, the three leakages are, three leakages are saving, taxes, and import spending. The three injections are investment spending, government spending, and export revenue, okay? What are the main flows? There's the input flow, the output flow, the income flow, and the expenditure or spending flow. Remember, consumption spending on goods and services, this only applies to domestic, I should add this, domestic goods and services, because any spending on foreign goods and services is actually import spending. That's a leakage, okay? So, Who are the five main economic agents? Households, who are the owners of the factors of production. Businesses, who are the employers of the factors of production, and they use those to produce output of goods and services. Okay, fabulous. Households earn income for providing their factors of production to the businesses, while businesses take those factors of production and they produce output. And then households spend this money on the domestic output. Now, some money 
leaves this circular flow and is not spent on domestic goods and services. It's either saved in banks, paid as taxes to the government, or spent on foreign goods and services. So saving, taxes, import spending, these are leakages. Some money is also injected into the circular flow of income that comes from other economic agents other than households and businesses. Okay, Banks will lend out money for people for investment spending. The government spends money on goods and services as well. And foreigners will buy our goods and services and we earn export revenue. The, those pink things here, these are the injections into the circular flow. All right. Now, all of this shows how those five economic agents are interdependent. Okay, it shows the interconnections and the interdependence between the economic agents. All right, so we have drawn the model with leakages and injections. We've shown the interdependence um, and what it looks like and the leakages and injections, we've defined them. And I think we have finished this video. Again, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Consider becoming a member. There's a join button, lots of exclusive content for members. Um, I will be posting one video per week um, this is my goal. Um, unless something prevents me from doing this, I'll try my best to communicate. But yeah, let me know what you like. And if you like these videos, press that like button because that makes the video, the algorithm starts to work in my favor. And then it suggests that video to people who might be um, looking for help with their IB economics diagrams. Have a great rest of your week and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.